Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf here again. I'm trying to calm my dog down. I go take him to the <laughs> vet this morning. You gotta get a couple shots in his butt. Uh, anyway, uh, seriously, this is uh, your boy DJ Wolf here again. Um, I got a couple things on my mind. This is the Monday morning rant. Um, special extended edition. Um, I, as I get ready to, to do my R and R this week, which is uh, relax, or, uh, what do you call rest or relaxation? Uh, I, uh, I'm a little concerned because um, I know I'm going to be heading heading um, out uh, to my R and R, and. Uh, I'm concerned about what's going on in Baton Rouge. I'm concerned what's going on in this country anymore, man, because I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm very concerned. And uh, I, you know, I'm concerned, not necessarily just for myself, but I'm concerned from, you know, for, for, for our uh, black youth. Because there's too much mess going on right now, man. You know, it's, it's really funny that the media plays a big role in this, and whether they think they do or not is relevant, but they play a big role in this. The reason that I say that, they, and I know they do, is because everything's breaking news now. You know? But I'll get to that another time. It's the fact that they, you know, they when they want to focus on certain things, they'll stay on top of it all day. The shootings of uh, Alton, Sterling, and Flando Castile were, were tragic. Very tragic. You know, not only for the family, but I think it was tragic to America, too, because it, it was like nobody cared when those guys got shot. You know? Now, you got, you got, uh, you got, uh, this shooting that happened in Dallas with the, with the, with the dozen or so cops, with several of those cops uh, at that. Then, you had a uh, shooting in Baton Rouge where, they, where uh, three cops got killed. You know. And the media choose to focus uh, more on the cops being shot than they were on the two victims that were shot. Now, those cops were victims. Don't get me wrong. But it amazes me that the two black guys that were murdered by the cops, those cops were never arrested. There has been no talk about them being detained, arrested, convicted, nothing. You know, it's like the narrative changed. The narrative went from away from what happened with the two black guys who were killed by those cops to the cops who were murdered by black guys. See how a narrative changed and how they stay on topic of a specific narrative. They're already doing it. I was just talking about I did a, a, a podcast about that a few weeks ago. The media narrative. The media narrative. They're already doing it. They're already doing it. And I think it sucks because the media, you know, if, if the media want to really want to do it right, wouldn't you think they'd be talking about race in general? No, they they don't they don't want to address the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is 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 is, is, is a bad uh, race race relation issues. <coughs> they don't want to address it, and it needs to be addressed. It needs to be focused. You know. No. And then the, on top of that, they want to focus on uh, Black Lives Matter as being the, the culprit uh, for <clears throat> all the trouble troublemakers. Now, there's some things I don't agree with Black Lives Matter moving on. One of the things I'm not going to... Um, I, I, one, one of the things I, I will say about Black Lives Matter movement, from my perspective and understanding about Black Lives Matter movement. They're not about violence. You know. But 
it's the media, the media way of trying to destroy. We need organizations like Black Lives Matter because they address the issue head on about violence and racial profiling. Okay, but they want to tie in <clears throat> the perpetrators who shot those cops into a Black Lives Matter uh, cause, and that's bullshit. That's where the media is unjustly biased on a lot of issues, and I have real problems with them about that. This is one of the reasons why I started back Blog Talk Radio for that purpose. I'm going to do my show tonight. I'm going to make a promise that it will be on today. 347 426 3596. That's 347 426 3596. You can call in. My show will be on today. If you want to hear it live, it's going to be on blogtalkradio.com forward slash for all to hear with DJ Wolf. Because uh, I'm part of the social media. I'm proud to be part of social media, and I think social media has a lot to say about the very things that the media will not talk about. This is the honest truth. Someone sent me, uh, just sent me a uh, comments and uh, mentioned something in the uh, comments on one of the uh, things about Black Lives Matter I talked about. It was an honest conversation about Black Lives Matter that I talked about, that I, that I discussed. But it wasn't to bash him. It was to really tell him, hey, let's focus on all of these issues. Not just one. I know why they're focusing on one. But there are several issues in the black community that need to be addressed besides police brutality. That's all I'm saying. That's all I've been saying. <laughs> you know. And But I don't think they're... That I, I'm, I don't honestly think the Black Lives Matter organization is a racist organization. And I'm going to tell you another reason why. Because most of the Black Lives Matter organizations, guess who, guess who, who, guess who are on the Black Lives Matter organizations? Black people, white people, Asian people. You see all people of all Mexican people. You see people of all color involved with Black Lives Matter movement. So I know that's not true anyway. Okay. But the media want you know wants to jump along with with certain factor, factions to say, oh yeah, they're they're no good. They're starting all this crime. You know, just saying blatantly loose lies about it. You know? So, <clears throat> although I I'm, I don't... I may be in, in some disagreement about Black Lives Matter, but I'll be honest with you, the one thing I can honestly say, I don't think that they're a, they're a terrorist organization. I don't think that, they, that they're about violence. I really don't. That's just my, This is just my opinion. I really don't believe that. But I do think the media is out to try, 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 try to destroy them. There's no doubt. Do you honestly think the media or any any other organization groups or anti-race uh, groups wants to see a group like Black Lives Matter exist? Of course not. Because they bring too much attention to the front of racism in itself. They're out to destroy the Black Lives Matter movement. And I support them. I support them for, for what they're trying to do to bring uh, the attention of what's going on in our, our world today. You know? And I will continue to do so. I will, I will continue to do so. So. In any case, it's your boy DJ Wolf. Um, I'm going to put this on pause for a little while. And I'm going to come back. I got more to say about some other issues as well. In addition to that. And, uh, uh, oh, I hit that too hard. All right. So let me put this thing on fault pause and I'll be right back. And I'm back. All right. Um, I wanted to, uh, talk about that issue. I mean, at some point, man, we got, you know, this is a nation of laws. Or at least my understanding is a nation of laws. You can't go around, uh, killing on our, uh, black men because of what you thought they were doing or you know, what you suspect of what they're doing no more can you be a, a citizen going around shooting cops because of what you uh, because you think all cops are bad 
to me, it's it's defeating the purpose of uh, laws in this country. It's, it, it really is. It's defeating the whole purpose about why we have laws in the first place. You know? I wish I was going to work that way. And when you're doing that and breaking laws like that, for lack of a better word, you're you're as much of a detriment as the cops are when you do that. I'm going to say that. You know, we need to have, like I said before, honest to goodness dialogue. People have to open up their hearts and their minds. You know. You're going to have to. It's going to all come down to that. It's going to all come down to people getting together and looking at each other as people, not as color. And yeah, I'm saying it. Not as color, but as people. Okay, yes, I was born African American, Haitian, and uh, I'm understanding some Indian and white descent. But I'm still a human. I'm still a man. Okay? I need to be respected as such. And I feel I, I'm i the same way with other people, too. I mean, I mean, I respect you. And I, and I respect people who respect me and vice versa. It's about mutual respect, regardless of where you came from. You know, we have to learn that. We have to seriously grow up. This country, I'm going to tell you right now, and this, and this is my take on it wholeheartedly. It's no, 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 ain't trying to shame nobody, nothing. We need to grow up. There's an immaturity level in this country. That's really what it comes down to. You know, this country, this is over what? Uh, I can't remember. Well over 240 uh, years or something, something like that. And we still haven't matured. You know? We still haven't matured. This country has a lot of maturing to do. You know, I said it before and I'll say it again. We need to grow up. This country seriously needs to grow up. You know, you got too many people doing too much, too much ignorant shit out here. I'm going to keep it honest. We're doing way too much ignorant stuff out here. You know, no one wants to grow up. Everybody wants to be childish and do childish shit because, you know, children usually, uh, unless they're disciplined, just get away with whatever they want to get away with. You know? It's like you can't have rogue cops killing black people, you know, and not being punished, you know? But you see they don't have a problem punishing people who kill cops. So if you got a problem uh, punching people who kill cops, you should have a problem uh, punishing cops who kill who who who, who uh, go out and maliciously kill people, innocent people. I mean, innocent people. Okay. You know, <clears throat> there's something called a law that <clears throat> that people hold you that you know that that, that there's something called laws in this country. <clears throat> And when laws are broken, justice has to be served. People need to be punished. You know, cops, good cops out here, has to uphold the law and arrest and get these other these bad cops arrested. And 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 and, and, and the justice system itself, as a whole, needs to do the job that they that they swore to uphold and do. You know. And continue to do so because right now there's lawlessness is going on, and the reason why there's lawlessness is going on because, to be honest, for lack of a better word, justice in this country is flawed, very flawed, and you know it, and I know it. I gotta, I'm, 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 just, I'm just telling from the heart, I'm telling it straight up, you know. Um. It was a YouTuber I was saying earlier. I said it was a YouTuber. Uh, I think it was something that I talked about about a week ago. Right, BLM. And I was, it was an honest uh, conversation about Black Lives Matter. And I said it before, and they were saying, you know, he said, you know, I like you because you speak your mind and you, you, and, you, and, you and you come from a good place, you come from a good heart about it. And I do. You know, I can't sit there and, and, and lie on my convictions. You know. That I'm a very peace-loving person. I I I, I, I abhor I I, I I I hate I hate violence. You know. Now, of course, when it comes to sporting events like football, basketball, you know, stuff like that, you know, I'm good on that. You know, because you know, but because the sports not actually violent. You know, people. Some people think basketball is violent for sports, not. You know, 
it's a it's a regular sport. You know, football is a regular sport. You know, but it's not violent per se, other than you know than than, than you know hitting you know hitting people when they're trying to stop stop from getting the ball. You know, basketball you play defense on, you know. But nevertheless, what I'm saying is, I, you know, I, 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 I try to come from an honest place on things that I talk about, and I try to offer some solutions, you know. Maybe it's not enough that I'm doing it. Maybe I should do a writing write, writing campaign about it. You know, maybe I should do, do some written blogs. I, I'm not much of a, I can I can write blogs. It's not what I do. I do the video blogs because, number one, I don't have to spend that much time writing. Number two, um... I can get a lot more off my mind talking about it versus writing. Although I, I may start doing some writing too. I actually like to write a book, you know. But nevertheless, I think we need an open and honest dialogue. And really, this should be considered a state of emergency in this country about about the violence that's going on because you can't have that. You can't have lawlessness in the in the land of laws, you know. But by the same token, justice must be served evenly. You can't sit there and, and serve justice on, on people who shoot cops and don't serve justice on cops who shoot who shooting in unarmed people. That's not even justice. It's not it never will be. You know? And then what really pisses me off, the victims who get who get shot, who, who instantly are getting shot, are usually the ones that they sit there and Those are the ones who, you know, who they usually just like, hey, you know, oh, well, you know, he was a thug or, oh, well, she run off at the mouth too much or, oh, well, you know, it's always something. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> no one's ever honest about anything. And that's part of the problem. You know, you want to look at people want to look at this country on one side and not the other. You know, they still look at, you know, us like we're second class, third class citizens, you know, instead of human beings. That's part of the problem. It's, a, it's an arrogance in this country, you know, where white people see people of color as, you know, as just nobody. And I think that's wrong. You have to change that mindset. When, you, when the mindset, like I said before, when the mindset is changed from thinking that people of color are are shit too old. You're just like us, except your color's different. That's what's got to change. That's what's got to change. You know, you can't sit there and just care about one type of race and not, and not everybody else. This is supposed to be a melting pot. The world really is a melting pot if you think about it. You know? You have to change the attitude. And you gotta also stop trying to use people. See, that's another thing, too. You know, for too long in this country, uh, they try to use people, man, you know, for 400 years. That's fact. <clears throat> I mean, let's be real. The attitudes gotta change. That's all this, too. The attitudes have got to change in this country. For the better. For the better. All right, I'm going to go off the topic right now. I want to talk about something. And I know I talked about it before. Um, maybe I should talk about it. There's really not much to talk about. You know, you knew about Sarah and uh, Russell Wilson got married about a week, two weeks ago. And uh, uh, there was a video that Sierra posted of her son uh, against uh, Russell Wilson. He called him Papa. Although I don't have no real, uh, you know, yes or no objection about it, you know, it don't matter to me. I didn't marry. But my thing is this: um, you love who you love. All right. And if you don't love that person more, you you move on. All right. And I'm going to say it again. Future should have moved on. You know. 
stop talking all this dumb talk and be a man about things and move on. You know, I said it before, I say it again. You know, my, well, now, other only other problem I got is Sierra posting videos, and yeah, she I, and then that's just me. I I think personally, I think she's behind posting all these videos. Now, ain't nobody doing that but her. You know. And you can't keep rubbing that stuff in his face. Stuff like that really, for the most part, should be, you know, not for the public. Not everybody got to see that, you know. Because I thought about that. And I said, you know what? Somebody was right when they said that. That's true. You don't have to see that. I mean, you know, really, do you really have to, you know, let everybody know you're in love with him? We know you're in love with him, so be in love with him. And move on with your life. Everything that between you and him don't have to be public. Seriously. Bad enough people bash you because, uh, you know, they think you're a gold digger. You know, I had some reservations about myself. But if you don't want anybody talking about it, I suggest you don't post it every day all the time y'all y'all have an event. You know, and I'll leave it at that. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for right now. I'm going to make this turn over to this place so I can make this stop here because I got stuff I got to do this morning. Oh, stamp. Am I on the wrong place? Oh. Maybe I came on the wrong side. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, I take care of some things this morning. I'm going to talk about my r r a little later. I'm going to also do a blog talk radio show this evening, guys. So, this is DJ Wolf. This is all I got for right now. I will be talking to you guys later. Questions or comments, please feel free to leave me on, on uh, gmail.com, uh, which is for all here at gmail.com. I know where I brought my car at. Or which way? We got some cars going left, some cars going to the fucking right. Oh my god, this place, I swear. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck to drive my car off to. Alright, uh, <laughs> you know where to hit me up at. This is GD Wolf. I'll talk to you later.